Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own LUT in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, LUTs are great for just drag and drop color grading and color correcting. You can use the pre-built ones, I made a tutorial on how to use them in your footage, but how do you create your own LUT? Premiere Pro actually makes this really, really simple to do. So let's go ahead and create something that we want to make a LUT, and then we'll go ahead and export it. So let's go ahead, uh, let's make something quick here. Let's say we wanna keep the exposure right about there, bring up the contrast, let's drop these highlights down some. Um, let's sort of drop the shadows too, let's punch those shadows. Whites, yeah, maybe right about there. Blacks, bring those down as well. Saturation, let's go with a little bit more saturation and then creative side, we can go with sort of a faded film here, a little bit of a sharpen. Uh, vibrance going up as well. Saturation, we're gonna keep that the same because we already adjusted saturation in the other part, not 10%, 100%. And then let's go with a sort of a reverse. The shadows go to the yellows and we'll make the highlights go towards the blues. Or let's let's reverse that. Let's make the highlights go orange and make the shadows go towards the blues. Yeah, that makes a pretty neat look. And let's tint this slightly towards the orange feel to it. So from the beginning to the end, we have this right here. We've sort of brought out some of the color in it, added some contrast, and just sort of removed that really plain film look to it, made it look sort of stylistic. So now to export this, it's really simple. You know, we can do anything else we want down here. We can add all this stuff in here as well. But what we wanna do is now go up to Lumetri Color, and we just need to click the Export Cube right here. And if you click this button, it's gonna ask you to save this somewhere. Let's go into our downloads folder and let's just name this. What's a good name for this? Uh, let's go with like uh, 80s, 80s grunge look. I don't know why that's the first idea that came to mind, just sort of the colors and the sort of maybe the 90s even, but we're just gonna click save on that. And then now what we can do is just let's just delete Lumetri right here. And let's go back over into here. So now everything is defaulted back to the, you know, none of my changes I've saved. Let's go into the creative and let's go look for that one I've just created. We're gonna go hit browse, gonna go into my download folder. We have that 80s grunge look. Click open and it looks exactly the same as it did before. None, back to normal. Our new 80s grunge look is right here and we can save that forever and ever make a whole file of these. You can use them for different, you know, pieces of footage. Maybe you drop them on every single mo uh, clip or, you know, share them with your friends, sell them online. You can do really anything that you want with them now that you have created this LUT and people can just drag and drop them and it'll just create the effect. It is as simple as that. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.